Welcome to the field the world of the most advanced technologies where you can witness the operation of gigantic agricultural machines some farmers have been experimenting with the parley harvester developed by Mavco an agricultural company from North Brent in the Netherlands one of the standout features of this machine is its ability to cleanly cut off any remaining leaves allowing the plant to regenerate quickly and optimizing their growth cycle after harvest the parsley harvester is equipped with sharp cutting blades as the machine moves through the parsley rows the blades cut the parsley at a predetermined height after the parsley is cut it is either conveyed upward by a belt or vacuums through a tube using a vacuum system this system operates like a high-powered vacuum cleaner sucking the passel into a collection area at the rear of the machine this giant machine is commonly used in herb crop farming regions particularly in the Netherlands or other European countries with a width of 6.5 m it can harvest dozens of tons of herbs each day this significantly increases output when compared to other manual methods ensuring uniform cutting and reducing the need for L labor as a result it helps farmers to save costs and increase profits the soil tiller is an advanced agricultural device that enhances the efficiency of soil preparation for crops with its deep soil processing capability this machine breaks up the stubborn clumps of soil making the soil loose and easy to form into rows the tilled soil becomes suitable for sowing and creates better conditions for plant growth the tiller also helps form loose mounds of soil which serve as a stable foundation for the growth of root crops this allows the roots to grow without disruption or interference from hard soil furthermore the machine features a modular design offering multiple technical solutions to suit different farming conditions with large wheels that roll easily on moist ground and the ability to work at a depth of up to 10 in the tiller can handle six crop rows at once farmers can easily install and replace the tiller's components the machine system is also designed to be erosion resistant helping to protect the soil environment one of the standout features of the soil tiller is its flexibility allowing the working width to be adjusted with a few simple manual operations additionally farmers can combine it with a planting machine enabling both tilling and sowing to be done in a single pass saving time and effort farmers use peanut harvesters to save labor and effectively reduce work intensity tasks that would normally take several days or even weeks with manual labor can now be completed in just a few hours to begin the harvest farmers use a peanut digger that moves through each row it's equipped with a blade to cut the roots from the underside of the plants rotating times on the machine dig deep into the soil flipping the plants over so that they are laid out in rows. On the ground with the peanut pods facing one side the harvester then passes through quickly removing the peanuts to the rear using rollers preventing them from sinking into the soil a vibrating eave is designed to remove impurities as the peanuts are gathered into the machine the peanut harvester can operate smoothly even in wet fields adapting to various field conditions the peanut harvester combines digging lifting and flipping into a seamless process additionally picking efficiency reaches 98 percent which saves considerable time labor and energy most commercial harvesters use either spindle or vine shaking mechanism mechanisms to remove the fruit from the vine the primary impact comes from a flexible horizontal double rod that strikes the canopy and shakes it to release the grapes in some regions machine harvesting can reduce labor costs by up to 75 percent these machines move through the vine rows shaking the vine so that the grapes fall onto a conveyor belt after being collected impurities are removed through a series of screens the harvester grapes are immediately transferred to trucks for transport to the processing facility this method of machine harvesting is exclusively used for wine grape production it is estimated that a machine can harvest one hectare in around five hours harvesters can also run continuously for 24 hours a day machine harvesting is typically more costly effective and well suited for large vineyards located on flat terrain with machine harvesting grapes can be chilled faster than with hand picking these machines are equipped with lights to assist in nighttime harvesting helping farmers to shorten the harvesting period especially during peak times grapes that are left on the vines for too long after are happening will quickly deteriorate and perish these massive machines can collect up to 300 kilograms of produce in just a few minutes significantly reducing labor and harvest time while providing flexibility to meet the demands of modern agriculture this top system can extend from 9 m to 11 m and is automatically operated to optimize harvesting processes it is commonly used to harvest fruits such as all olives almonds cherries and oranges the shaker is capable of adjusting the shaking sequence to effectively detach all the fruit thanks to its easy to operate design the operator can use his equipment in any intensive farming system the harvester is equipped with an automatic ground top rolling system increasing the harvest speed by up to 75 percent of the fruit on the tree the cabin is integrated with a seven in color screen to control the entire machine along with an automatic brightness adjusting camera system this machinery ensures continuous and efficient harvesting the automatic transplanter operates in the field with a modern and highly efficient planting process to operate the machine farmers must first prepare the soil to ensure proper moisture and looseness seed Seedling trays are then loaded into the machine the transplanter is compact and easy to use operators can precisely set parameters such as a distance 
Between plants and the planting depth during operation the machine uses a mechanical or hydraulic system to lift each seeding from the tray and plant it into the soil the R robotic arms move rhythmically ensuring each seedling is planted in the correct position at the same time the soil is gently pressed around the base of the seedling to stabilize it with the ability to plant up to 30,000 seedlings per hour planting productivity is significantly improved compared to traditional manual methods farmers can expand the planting area in a short time while greatly reducing labor and staffing costs plowing machines typically operate using tractors the plow breaks up the hard top layer of soil to a depth of 6 to 16 centimeters it does this by cutting lifting and turning the blades plows come with various types of cutting blades each designed for a specific type of soil and tilling these blades break up soil clumps making the soil surface flatter and cleaner it also loosens the soil by turning it over making sowing much easier and providing space and nutrients for new crops typically plowing is done at the end of the harvesting process the purpose of this technique is to remove weeds and most crop residues from the previous season so they don't hinder the next crop's growth this softens the soil and gradually prepares it for the next planting season deep plowers can till up to depths of greater than 50 centimeters altering the soil structure and allowing crops to find adequate space for root. Development Deep plowing tends to better control various perennial weeds during the summer months grass grows vigorously and is often harvested by livestock farmers Farmers can use simple sickle bar mowers which move in a reciprocating motion after cutting the grass is collected and loaded onto trucks to be transported back to the farm meeting the fresh feed needs of the livestock farmers may leave the grass in the field for a few hours until it wilts reducing moisture content afterwards the grass is gathered and piled up in the yard the harvested grass can also be dried in the field farmers will return after a few days and hay harvest harvesters help bale the dried grass into bundles that these harvesters can achieve productivity rates of 5 to 20 hectares per hour they help farmers save time and effort in harvesting and caring for grass for their livestock to keep up with the growing demand from both local and international markets farmers all over the world have to come up with large-scale methods for harvesting and pro-processing crops helping to supply millions of tons of produce for the world every year around 60 million tons of mangoes are produced worldwide making it one of the most popular tropical fruits mango trees have a long lifespan giving farmers a steady source of income over many years once established well-maintained mango orchards can continue to produce high quality fruit for a long time mango trees start bearing fruit after around six years the yield of a mango orchard can range from three to nine tons per acre with an average of 400 to 600 mangoes per tree harvesting is done when one of the mangoes reaches the right size and color for the market mangoes will continue to ripen after being picked so farmers usually harvest them while they're still green and firm allowing them to reach distant markets the best time to harvest mangoes is early in the morning or late in the evening when the temperature is cooler and the fruit is less likely to get damaged farmers use a pole with a net to pick the mangoes ensuring that they don't fall and bruise they leave a bit of stem on the fruit which helps it to stay fresh for longer mango trees can.